Hey guys, Dr. Sharon here and welcome to Neat Buddy MCQs where I provide you with daily biology MCQs for your practice before the upcoming NEET exam. We have already done chapter wise revision twice, unit wise revision four times on this very channel and you'll find the videos in the playlist of the channel. Right now we are doing jumbled MCQs where I'm providing you with MCQs from all the chapters of class 11th and class 12th in CRT biology. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Question number one, which one of the following is being tried in India as a biofuel substitute for fossil fuels? Aegiolops, Jatrufa, Azadi Rachta, Musa. The correct answer is option two, Jatrofa. Question number two, a protoplast in a cell without cell wall, without plasma membrane, without nucleus undergoing division. What is a protoplast? The correct answer is option one without cell wall. So cytoplasm plus plasma membrane gives protoplast. Question number three. Trichoderma herzianum has proved a useful microorganism for biological control in soil borne plant pathogens bioremediation of contaminated soils, reclamation of waste lands, gene transfer in higher plants. What is the use of Trichoderma herzianum? The correct answer is option one, biological control of soil borne plant pathogens. Question number four, in which group of organisms the cell walls form two thin overlapping shells that fit together. Slime molds, chrysophytes, euglenoids, diflagellates. The correct answer is option two, chrysophytes. Question number five. Gel electrophoresis is used for isolation of DNA molecule, cutting of DNA into fragments, separation of DNA fragments according to their size, construction of recombinant DNA by joining with cloning vector. The correct answer is option three, separation of DNA fragments according to their size. Question number six, the DNA molecule to which the gene of interest is integrated for cloning is called as carrier, transformer, vector, template. The correct answer is option three, vector. Question number seven, to which type of barriers under innate immunity does saliva in mouth and tears in eye belong? Physical barrier, cytokine barrier, cellular barrier, physiological barrier. The correct answer is option four, physiological barriers. Question number eight, the male gametophyte in angiosperm produces three sperm, two sperm and a vegetative cell, single sperm and a vegetative cell, single sperm and two vegetative cells. The correct answer is option two, two sperms and a vegetative cell. Question number nine, coconut water in a tender coconut is degenerated nucellus, immature embryo, free nuclear endosperm, innermost layer of seed coat. The correct answer is option three, free nuclear endosperm. Question number 10. The species confined to a particular region and not found anywhere else is called as rare, keystone, alien or endemic species. The correct answer is option 4. Endemic species. Question number 11. Match the disease in column 1 with appropriate items in column 2. Appropriate items can be pathogen, prevention or treatment. Diseases given are amoebiasis, diphtheria, cholera, syphilis and column 2 contains treponema, pallidum, use of sterilized food and water, DPT vaccine, use of oral rehydration. The options are given. So the correct answer is option 1 that is amoebiasis use only sterilized food and water because it is transmitted through contaminated food and water, diphtheria, 
DPT vaccine. DPT vaccine is a vaccine against three diseases. D is diphtheria, P is pertussis, T is typhoid, uh, tetanus. Sorry, DPT, diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus. C, cholera goes with option four, oral rehydration therapy. Cholera, severe diarrhea is the symptom or presentation of cholera watery rice watery stool is seen caused by vibrio cholerae so because of excess of loss of water in stool oral rehydration is to be given syphilis caused by bacteria tryponema pallidum which is spirillium in shape right so these were the correct options option uh, first amoebiasis goes with sterilized food and water diphtheria dpt cholera use of oral rehydration therapy syphilis tryponema pallidum question number 12 consider the following statement about biomedical technologies during open heart surgery blood is circulated in heart lung machine blockage in coronary artery is removed by angiography computerized axial tomography shows detailed internal structure as seen in section of body X-ray provides clear and detailed image or organ like prostate and lungs. Which of the two of the above statement is correct? The correct answer is option 4. A and C are correct. A. During open heart surgery, blood is to be circulated through machine, lung, heart lung machine. And option C that is computerized axial tomography or CAT scan shows detailed internal structure as seen in section of body x-ray provides clear images of organs like prostate and lungs that's incorrect and blockage in coronary artery removed by angiography that is also incorrect angiography is used just for viewing not for removing the blockage and x-rays are used for viewing the hard organs question number 13 which one of the following pair of codons is correctly matched with the function or signal for particular amino acid? UAA, UCA, leucine, GUU, GCU, alanine, UAG, UGA, stop codon, UAG, sorry, AUG, ACG, start codon or methionine. So the correct answer is option 3 is correct. UAG and GA, UGA both are stop codons. Question number 14. Metagenesis refers to presence of segmented body and pathogenetic mode of reproduction, presence of different morphic forms, alteration of generation between asexual and sexual phases of organism, occurrence of drastic change in form during post-embryonic development. The correct answer is option 3. Alteration of generation between asexual and sexual phase of an organism. Question 15. Modern detergents contain enzyme preparations of thermophiles, acidophiles, alkaliphiles or thermoacidophiles. The correct answer is option 3. They contain alkaliphiles. So those are the MCQs for today. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another set of MCQs. Till then, all the best and keep working hard. Do like and share the video if you find it helpful. And if you are new out there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.